Hi guys, it's that time of year again. Fall's upon us and winter's just around the corner and with that comes shortened daylight hours. I wanted to take a few minutes this morning to talk with you about the effects that the shortened daylight hours can have on your flock and what you can do to remedy the situation. Um, probably the first thing you'll notice is that your hens stop laying eggs. Um, the shortened daylight hours causes a hormonal change in their body that tells them that breeding season is over with and that they can stop laying eggs and start getting ready for winter. If your hens are still laying, you may notice a decrease in fertility rates in your eggs. And this is due to the fact that the roosters have lost their sexual drive and are no longer interested in breeding with the hens. Um, you may also notice that the roosters seem a little bit more complacent with the other roosters. And that is because the lack of sexual drive, um, they lose that competition feeling that that need to compete for uh, breeding. Uh, one of the other biggest things you may notice is that your flock goes through a full feather molt. One way to keep production up is to supply supplemental lighting. You can actually trick your birds into thinking that it's still the peak of breeding season by adding a few hours of light, artificial light, prior to sunrise and a few hours of light after sunrise. Some of you may choose to let your birds go through the natural daylight cycles uh, to allow your hens a uh, break from laying and your roosters a break from uh, breeding and being in competition with the other males. It also uh, will allow them to go through the full feather molt and replace any plumage that they may have lost during the breeding season. And some of you may wish to keep your birds in full production year round uh, by adding supplemental lighting to keep the daylight hours in between 14 and 16 hours. Um, you don't want to go more than 16 hours uh, because some studies have shown that more than 16 hours can cause aggression in some of your birds. Okay, a couple basic rules that you might want to follow if you are going to be supplying supplemental lighting. And uh, one is never increase the duration or intensity of the light during the growing period of your birds. And number two is never decrease the duration or intensity of the light during egg production. Another thing I want to talk to you about is uh, light temperature or the color of the light. Uh, Penn State and the University of Connecticut have done some studies on this and they found that uh, the cooler temperature lighting or in the, that which is closer to the blue spectrum is better for growing birds and light which is in the warmer color temperatures or the red spectrum um, help birds become more sexually stimulated. So you might want to keep that in mind uh, when choosing your bulbs for your, your uh, lighting. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the types of lights and how you're going to regulate when the lights come on and off. Uh, first thing I want to mention though is that when the lights come on in the morning, they don't need to be a super bright light. Um, just enough lighting to simulate a sunrise and the same thing in the evening, you need just enough lighting to simulate a sunset. So you don't need this big, bright, powerful light. You can get by with you know a 15 or 25 watt bulb. Uh, some people have even used Christmas lights. Um, they work fine, hang them up along the front of the cages. They come on and uh, supply enough light until the sun comes up and you've got your, your normal daylight hours or when your shop lights come on uh, and that provides your normal daylight hours. Okay, so let's talk a minute about how you're going to regulate when the lights turn on and when they turn off. Uh, if you're an early morning riser and you stay up late enough at night, you can do this manually by flipping a switch or plugging the lights into a, a wall outlet. Uh, but if you're like me and you like to sleep in a little bit, um, you can use an electronic timer. Uh, there are two types of timers that I picked up today. One is a standard plug it into the wall outlet, plug your lights into this, and then set the uh, time you want it to come on and time you want it to turn off. Um, another one that I picked up is called a in-wall timer. And basically what this does is replaces your light switch. Um, you pull the light switch out of the socket and wire it to this, reinstall this into the light switch receptacle, and uh, you can set the time that this comes on and off, and I think you can do multiple multiple on-off uh, settings. Um, you can also override the timer. Uh, say you come in in the middle of the night and you need to turn the light on in the clear room. You just push the button, the lights come on, push it again, it goes off, and it's back on the timer schedule. Okay, in this video, I'm not gonna show how you wire up the uh, in-wall timer. 
uh, for reasons is if you don't have a good understanding of electricity uh, you can severely hurt yourself and I don't want to be responsible for that okay so I'm gonna take a minute and string up some of the Christmas lights on these cages just to give you a basic idea of how much light they actually do provide and how much light you actually need to uh, supplement your birds with okay so I got the Christmas lights uh, strung up across the front of the cages and you can see that they're not really all that bright but they are bright enough to simulate an early morning sunrise which is all you need uh, as far as your supplemental lighting is concerned I hope this video gave you a little bit better understanding of the role that lighting plays with your birds and how it affects uh, productivity egg laying and breeding behaviors uh, if you have any questions or comments post them down below I try to get to those every day uh, if you're not subscribed please subscribe it helps me you'll get notifications of any new and upcoming videos so thanks for stopping by guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you on the next one